there, Beaver Nation. I'm Erica Jolliker. And I'm Shalane Eason. And this is your KBSU News for the week of December 12th through December 19th. Finals week is finally here, and we're not very happy about that. We hope that you've all got your fair share of studying in and hope you do well. Here are 10 study tips to help you out a little bit. Who needs sleep? Be sure to stop by Java City or Einstein's and grab yourself a minimum of one extra shot of espresso to help keep you awake and focused. My favorite is a white vanilla mocha with three extra shots. Make note cards filled with terms and play it as a matching game like you used to in elementary school. It's sure to give your memory a little bit of a kick start. Alcohol and finals do not mix. Sure, it may seem fun to go out and see all your friends before they go home for break, but what is really more important? Put your phone away. I know you're dying to know what everybody is up to on Snapchat and Twitter, but it can wait. Don't let it stop you from taking st small study breaks, though, but be sure that you always get back to work. Nobody will judge you for rocking messy buns and yoga pants this week, as we'll all be doing the same thing. Keep a positive attitude. If you go into an exam with confidence, you'll be sure to retain more knowledge and do better overall. You know that final paper you've been putting off all semester? Start it right now. Reward yourself with small goals, such as memorize 20 terms and reward yourself with a piece of candy or something nice each time you hit that goal. Find the method that works best for you. Do you work better with others? Form a study group with others from your class. Some people do better studying alone. Find your quiet place on campus that will minimize distractions. I, for one, love studying at Sackass Lounge since it always seems to be quiet with very few other people around. And the last tip, breathe. Winter break's almost here. What's up, Beaver Nation? The Beavers had a pretty busy week. Starting off with track and field, the team had their opener in Duluth last Saturday. Nicole Crummy claimed a first place finish in the 600 meter run with a time of 1 minute and 47 seconds, while Nikki Anderson also had a top four finish in the 60 meter hurdles with a time of 9.78 seconds. The mile run is where the Beavers really turned it up a notch. Jolene Denman stole first place with a time of 6 minutes and 11 seconds, while three other Beavers, Jane Austen, Emily Paquin, and Amanda Anderson swept the next three spots. Heading over to field events, Austin Eng finished third in pole vault with a height of 2.9 meters. And Sierra Brewer represented the Beavers with a third place finish in shot put throwing a distance of 12.09 meters. The team's next meet will take place on January 16th here at Bemidji. And now on to hockey where the women's hockey team has done it again. They swept Mankato last weekend winning 7-4 on Friday and 2-0 on Saturday. The Beavers will play St. Cloud State this upcoming weekend at St. Cloud. The men's hockey team had an interesting weekend against Alaska. On Friday, on Friday they tied 3-3 in overtime and then tied again in overtime on Saturday 4-4. This weekend they will take on Northern Michigan at 7.30 on Friday and then 7 o'clock on Saturday at the Sanford Center. Women's basketball had a tough weekend losing both Friday and Saturday games. On Friday, they lost 76-51 against St. Cloud State and then lost 88-67 against Duluth. They will play Augustana this Friday and the region's number four ranked team, Wayne State. Both games are away. Men's basketball had a similar weekend to the women's team. Last Friday, they lost 88-65 against St. Cloud and then lost 79-66 against Duluth. This coming Friday, the team will take on Augustana and then Wayne State on Saturday. And on to the Beaver Pride Athletes of the Week. Ivana Bilic and Ben Best earned honors after fantastic performances last weekend. Bilic came out with five points after the team's sweep against Mankato State. She assisted four goals on Friday's 7-4 win and a goal on Saturday's victory. She also ranked second nationally with, a 40, with 49 block shots and is tied eighth in scoring by defensemen with 13 points. She was also named the Western Collegiate Hockey Association's Defensive Player of the Week. So I'd say she's pretty good. And now Ben Best. The Beaver sophomore totaled 22 points and a team high of 15 rebounds last weekend. He finished the weekend shooting about 57% from the field, 50% from the three-point range, and 100% from the free throw line. He is surely living up to his last name. And now back to Erica and Shalina. 
Now, with the most recent tragedy on campus, we remind all students to be safe. If you plan to drink, here are some helpful tips. With winter break here, we are all tempted to go out and enjoy a couple cocktails with friends. Although us at KBSU do not support underage drinking, we understand that it is bound to happen in college. Please take precautions when you're going out to ensure neither yourself or others are being put at risk when doing so. Always be sure to have a safe way home, whether you take a cab, have a designated driver, or choose to walk. Use the buddy system and never leave a party or the bar alone. Make sure you always have a friend to walk home with. If you are, if you are the sober friend, make sure your intoxicated friends make it inside okay and are planning to stay put for the night as well. Be sure to bundle up so you can stay warm. Know your limits. If you feel too drunk, you probably are. Slow it down and drink plenty of water in between each alcoholic drink. Please remember how fast an accident can happen and do your best to avoid them. Look out for your friends and other loved ones around you. Welcome back, Beaver Nation. I'm the Rainmaker, filling in for Cal, the weather brother, uh, this week. He's probably studying for finals. Uh, the weather this week is Thursday. The high is 27 with a low of 23, and it's going to be sunny. Friday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 35 and a low of 27. Saturday, it's going to be 35 again with a low of uh, 33. Sunday, there's going to be an icy mix with a high of 35 and a low of 25. On Monday, it's going to be cloudy with a high of 27 and a low of 14. On Tuesday, it's going to be 21 degrees with a low of 11 degrees. And on Wednesday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 21 and a low of 12. Now back to Erica and Shalena. If your organization is doing anything newsworthy, hit us up on our Facebook or Twitter page to have your story featured. And here is a clip of our de-stress with pets from earlier this week. Hi, I'm Chris Maltrude and I'm here at de-stress with pets in the crying wolf room at BSU. It's a collaboration between the Student Health Services and Bemidji Humane Society to give students a chance to de-stress during finals week. It's a great way to bring awareness to the Humane Society. It gets students out of studying. Uh, one of our events is De-Stress with Pets for Students De-Stress Week. Uh, we understand finals are very stressful, so this is just one of the many things we do to help students relieve stress. We have free stress relieving beavers here, ace year exam, oh, whew, ace year exam, squeezing these things, I promise. We got a station here that Dr. Donna Palavik brought in. You ride the bike and it blends up the blender and there's fruit smoothies there for you. And in the back we have the BSU Recreation Services. So basically they're here to talk about intramurals. So that's another thing, good, good thing to de-stress is getting into intramurals as well as volunteer work. This is my first year here and these dogs are so cute. Oh my gosh, like there's this one that's got the little Santa suit on it and it's adorable and I snuggled that thing for like a solid five minutes. I love that thing. I don't know if it's a boy or girl, but I'm gonna call it Chester. So, but no, it's like super nice and you can get the distressed beavers and a back massage. I haven't done it yet, but I heard it's to die for. So, pretty excited for finals now. This has been De-Stress with Pets. Good luck on finals, everyone. Chris Maltrude, KBSU Channel 17. Enjoy your time off. Have a safe and fun holiday break. I'm Shalane Eason. And I'm Erica Jolliker. May the odds be ever in your favor on your tests. And keep it classy, Bemidji.